Its top Hamas official is also reportedly calling for attacks against Americans. The risk of a terrorist attack today is higher than it has been any time since September 11th. It's about time the Muslims, especially the youth in the West, it's time for them to understand that the Kafir West, particularly the U.S., are enemies of Muslims. Just in the past 48 hours, we've heard that there are new calls for attacks against the United States, as Hamas leaders are saying that the United States is the enemy and needs to be dealt with. This coming as well as in the past 48 hours, we've heard that radical Muslim leaders living in the U.S. are calling upon Muslim youth that also live in the United States to raise up and attack the U.S., saying that the version of Islam that they practice is what they called a watered-down American Zionistic version that does not embrace the fundamental doctrines of holy war that need to take place in the United States. Now, let me know your thoughts. I'm going to be sharing with you the video footage so that way you can see it for yourself. And in addition to that, you're going to be hearing Congress saying the threat, it is at a heightened level unlike anything we have ever seen because they are already here. They've already crossed into the southern border and they are ready, waiting to attack. So I'm going to share with you the video footage. Uh, but before we dive in, do me a quick favor. If you appreciate the updates, keeping you up to speed, even though it might not be what you want to hear, but if you believe like I do that knowledge is power, and you appreciate the updates, just take a quick moment and smash that like button for me. Now, in addition to that, if you want to stay up to date, it's totally free. Why not? Hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. And in addition to that, as I reported to you earlier this week, we heard that China could be doing cyber attacks against the United States. Stick around to the end for more updates on that. But one of the things we heard that they could be targeting is communications, social media platforms. So just in case something happens, I've now created a website to stay in touch with you and that is at www.steveramnews.com. You can go simply put in your name and your email, and I'll send out a regular newsletter. And just in case anything happens to social media platforms like YouTube, we can stay in contact and stay updated. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and start off and take a look at what we saw from this radical Muslim leader in the United States. And then we'll take a look at some of the news reports coming out with Congress on updates on potential attacks. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right in. It's about time the Muslims, especially the youth in the West, it's time for them to understand what should already be known, that the Kafir West, particularly the U.S., are enemies of Muslims. If you're burning inside with rage and anger and hate for what the Zionists are doing, and you should be if you're Muslim, but then you love America and the Kafir West, then you have double standards at our southern border now, first on Fox Business, U.S. Customs and Border Protection, sharing an internal memo with us warning that Border Patrol agents uh, to be on the lookout for after the Mexican military seized 10 at our southern border tied to the cartel turf war. A person was also arrested on the U.S. side armed with two magazines and a hand. This says thousands of migrants are set to overwhelm Eagle Pass, Texas in the coming days. Droves of people are hitching rides on freight trains. We already saw migrant encounters top 11,000 in a single day this Wednesday, 12,000 in a single day a week before. Pressure is mounting for the president to take action. Biden is now signaling that he's open to a new border expulsion law and increased deportations, a move that congressional Hispanic Democrats are actually slamming as shameful. Republicans continue to hold funding for America's allies hostage at the expense of migrants. What's on the table is to further create chaos on the border. Title 42 on steroids. Meanwhile, Senator Bob Menendez accusing the White House of selling out migrants to placate extreme Republicans, saying that it's the GOP that's jeopardizing the U.S.'s national security. Here now is Ted, Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Senator, great to see you. Thanks very much for joining us this weekend. Maria, great to be with you. Thank you for having me. Can you assess the border? You've been there plenty, and now we're worried about at the southern border, which the Mexican cartels apparently have. Our southern border is, is, is an absolute disaster. I spend a lot of time there, and it has never been remotely as bad as it is right now. And I have to say, especially with the war waging in Israel and in Gaza, the risk of a terrorist attack today, Maria, I think is higher than it has been any time since September 11th. 
And this administration, the Biden White House and the Democrats in Congress, they do not care. They're looking the other way. I can tell you I was down on the southern border about five weeks ago. I went out on midnight patrol with the Border Patrol agents. The Border Patrol agents are deeply concerned about Hamas and Hezbollah terrorists coming across our southern border. And with Joe Biden and the Democrats, it's wide open. It is an invitation to come and commit acts of terror. And we're vulnerable because of this, this administration's policies. Well, I mean, why? Do you have any idea why this administration and the Democrats are okay with the wide open border, even though we know the national security risk that this involves? Well, I think it's really three things. Number one, what has happened in today's Democrat Party is they are captive to the extreme left, the radical left, the squad. Donald Trump broke the Democrat Party. It shattered their, he shattered their and it's right now, it's the Bernie Sanders, the Elizabeth Warrens, the AOCs who are driving the agenda. And when it comes to the border, it's the radical open borders crowd that believes it is wrong to have a border. Some of those nuts believe America shouldn't exist, that our existence is fundamentally illegitimate. That's number one. Number two, this is an administration that is all politics all the time. When it comes to national security, they don't care about national security. Look at the disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan. It was entirely a political operation because they wanted a press release on September 11th rather than to protect Americans overseas, rather than to protect our servicemen and women. And number three, there are a lot of cynical Democrats who look at the 9.6 million illegal immigrants who've come across under Joe Biden, and they just see future Democrats. And so they're willing to look the other way at the day after day after day. Every day we have on Texas farms and ranches of migrants who are being did. Every day the Democrats are willing to look the other way at the little children who are by every day they're willing to look the other way at the women who and you know what none of them do? None of them go see what's happening. When I go down to the, to the border, I typically bring senators with me. I bring Republicans with me. We go out on midnight patrol. They see it. When you see, when I last brought four other senators down there, we we're out there, we encountered a group of women and children. You see little children who have been. You see that every time you go. You know what? Bob Menendez isn't down at the border. None of the Democrats are down at the border. Joe Biden isn't down on the border. Kamala Harris isn't down on the border because they don't want to right. see it. They can't see it. And more importantly, their strategy is based on the corporate media ignoring it. As you know, Maria, I have a brand new book that just came out called Unwoke, How to Defeat Cultural Marxism in America. It's a bestseller. And Unwoke breaks down how the radical left took over every major institution in America. If you look at journalism, why do the Democrats have this open border policy? Because they're counting on CNN and MSNBC and ABC, NBC, CBS to utterly ignore the border. Nothing to see there. That's why Joe Biden doesn't go down, because if he came down, the TV cameras would come with him. And it is because of our corrupt and lying media that the Democrats have been driven to, to, to these radical policy positions. So there you have it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. They're saying the threat of attack, it is already here after these years of open border policies by the Biden administration. Now, in addition to that, you also saw the calls that took place this week and also we heard that china could be doing cyber attacks against our various infrastructure systems now to get more updates on that be sure to check out this video right here next and as i mentioned if you're interested in staying up to date outside of social media platforms be sure to sign up at steveramnews.com but with that being said you guys thank you so much for joining me i'll keep you up to date as more information rolls out take care god bless this is steve